welcome back to the channel guys today is a d-day which means the day we're gonna start taking this thing apart I was gonna actually fix the vacuum leaks and uh, go have some fun drive on the interstate see what the top speed is but with my luck lately I'll get pulled over and get a warning or a ticket God knows I don't need any more of those so I think it's just best if I start taking all this apart and uh, just yank everything up, throw everything in the box and I already have some buyers for some of these parts that want it. Yeah, so that's the plan today, set up the cameras in Gore Town. Just uh, gonna save all these parts, somebody always needs some. Plus we have a lot of Yugos, we still want to uh, bring some more to back to life. Alright, let's just start taking everything apart. I got a box here that I'll be uh, throwing all the parts and get to before all this should probably take the battery out but it's not fuel injection or nothing so doesn't really matter in this car yeah I probably will uh, move this battery back to the trunk uh, just so I can have some more room that way I have more room for the engine that I'm gonna be using which I don't know yet, why yet. I'm not even gonna try to drain this radiator being a copper old radiator it's gonna suck out as much as I can coolant start disconnecting the hoses at least stop one and uh, these syringes always work uh, this radiator is still good so I could always use it later on, but just trying to unscrew that drain on the radiator this old, it's never a good idea. Time to pull the radiator out. This is a still good radiator, and I'm going to save it. Being original, some guys when I bring the Yugos back to original, so they need original parts. And the radiator's out. In order to pull this box off, I had to uh, remove the air pump, which is in the way. Let's see who made this thing. Uh, it says metric. KIPP. I'm not sure what brand that is. But yeah, the air pump works good. Hmm. Save that. Oh, okay. Do not clamp in vice. Okay. Metric. Not sure what brand. I mean, it's KIPP. KIPP. Not sure who makes that. But, anyways. Now. I should be able to uh well there's one more bracket on the water pump that I have to remove that's hitting the box and then I can remove the box. Got the air pump off and then the box just came off easy. 
Yeah, it's got a bunch of dirt and stuff, but I'm gonna clean it up. We're gonna be reusing that uh, for the heater core, which sits right here. Then you got the blower motor behind it. Uh, heater core, I'm gonna test it. Probably look for a new one. Uh, that's probably what I'm gonna have to import. I posted a video of this engine and transmission running and this car driving actually on a Facebook Yugo page we have and there's a guy apparently from Oklahoma he wants to come on Saturday which is tomorrow to buy this engine and transmission off of me because I don't need it so I mean that's good news I soaked these uh, brake lines yesterday and uh, no, this should come off easy. So yeah, I sold the alternator to a friend actually in Waterloo that has that needs one. And uh, we'll see if this guy shows up or not. I mean, I don't need this. I got plenty of engines and transmission plus things. This being a carburetor one, I don't need it. I will be just taking a room in my garage, so might as well sell it, get some money out of it, you know. Got all the lines removed, all the bolts loose. Uh, now it's time to take the master cylinder off and the booster. I'm really hoping that I'll have room. Uh, I'll probably run this car without a booster for brakes. I mean, I had cars like that before. So we'll see how that's going to work out. Oh, I got to remove it. Uh, there's a huge spacer here between the booster and the master cylinder. But once I put the engine in, whatever engine I decide to put in, I'll see how much room I really have. Uh, worst case scenario, I move everything here on top, make a, like a C bracket. When, when you push, the C bracket will have a mount and it'll kind of go like this and it'll push my brakes or I can build a bracket and just run master cylinder without the booster yeah the brakes will be stiff but what what else is new this car has no power steering as well it's not gonna have a power steering so just another thing to add I gotta go inside <clears throat> underneath and disconnect this uh, brake booster from the pedal I forgot Booster disconnected, uh, it's pretty easy actually, I'm not even sure why the spacer is here, uh, I could get away with the spacer, just have to cut the arm. Uh, another thing I have to do, uh, this car has got the clutch cable, not hydraulic, so I have to add actual cylinder, master clutch cylinder next to the brake cylinder. I think I should have enough room, maybe run a Wilwood uh, short ones just like my other Fiat Busa and I think I should be able to squeeze them in here behind the engine block well depends how high I think I should be okay but yeah uh, the guy from Oklahoma just messaged me I guess he really is coming tomorrow so I gotta hustle up take everything out, get ready for him and uh, yeah, get some money back for this thing pretty soon I'll have a free car that's always good, you can use that money towards some more parts Wasn't worried about going through. Anyways, this section will be cut out and replaced just because of uh, that battery acid leaking all over the place. So I'll be cutting a section here and welding it. Same here. Uh, and then I have more spots down here. So yeah, once that battery tray is moved, you get more room. So yeah, this so. Once the engine is in, 
I'll test everything out and then pull it out. Then I had to reinforce the whole car here and all the welds have to be reinforced. Just uh, this car, they have tendency to flex a lot. I'm gonna try to keep the original control arms, original sway bar. Just gonna upgrade the sway bar to bigger one. But I'm uh, uh, gonna keep the uh, steering rack, which is manual. And uh, we'll see. I should be able to fit that engine and transmission that I'm thinking if I can find it. So that's that. Uh, now we're gonna go underneath and start disconnecting everything else. So I got everything disconnected. Uh, well, not everything. Uh, the only thing that's holding this engine transmission is two mounts. I got the bottom mount removed uh, right here. Took the exhaust off, took the catalytic converter off. I thought it would be original, but it's some kind of aftermarket. It's worth nothing. Uh, my last one I sold for 80 bucks, original one, but this is an aftermarket one, so that's not worth anything. Uh, now, the only thing that's left, it's got to pull, pull the axles out uh, and uh, uh, tie rod, strut and just move everything over so I can uh, take the axles out. Those boots are still good, so I might just uh, remove the flanges from the transmission, keep the axles, never know I need them. Uh, I already drained the oil, engine and transmission, and uh, I'm gonna nicely take those axles out and keep them, uh, especially I'm gonna have to cut them in the half and uh, weld. Uh, so original side, original bearings and spindles are gonna be from Yugo and whatever engine transmission I decide to use. So I'm gonna have to cut it, have somebody weld them, test everything over, and then uh, and then uh, uh, send it to a uh, some kind of shop. DSS or whoever make me strong axles so yeah I'm gonna just take the suspension off now and uh, pull the axles and then the engine transmission will be ready to come up then I can clean all this mess up and get ready for tomorrow when Jeff comes over to pick it up sometimes you just have to take a break from everything open a cold one Sit back, check out Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and all that. All the so social media. Can't even talk. Social media. I have already taken off the other side. Now it's time to do this side as well. I just cut the boots off because I'm leaving the flanges on the transmission calipers off. Pretty simple. The other side was frozen solid. I will be uh, upgrading my brakes, the spindle, all that, staying original, but uh, about these tie rods and putting new ones on so I'm gonna be putting new tie rods anyways might as well destroy it
this one didn't want to come out at all. And that's it. Both sides are now removed. Time to hook up a hoist and pull it out. We got brand new uh, engine leveling thingy, McJiggy. I had one, give it to somebody. They never bought it back. I have no idea who got it. So I had to end up buying another one. That happens to a lot lately. So now I have to uh, Remove those two remaining mounts and uh, pull the engine up. And she's moving. And she's free. She's free and leaking. It comes in handy. Kind of level engine up. This engine hoist I've had it for years. And uh, I have borrowed it to so many people over the years and every time I get it back it's worse than it was. So always missing parts. Maxing out my jack, so I have to lower my car down. I uh, got the motor out, Hugo. You can see after I posted the thing for sale on our Hugo Facebook page, uh, and I made a video of car running and beating the heck out of it. A guy named Jeff from Oklahoma sent me a message, said, I'm interested in the motor, would you take this? much money and I agreed I didn't honestly think sorry Jeff but I didn't think he was gonna come all the way from Oklahoma uh, to pick up this motor so he's on his way and should be about 10-15 minutes till he shows up so we're gonna load it up uh, in his truck and um, last things I got worried about so gonna start pretty soon here measuring up and see what I can fit in it so these guys showed up from Oklahoma. Yeah. 400 and 450 miles. 450 miles to pick up a Yugo engine. <laughs> and I thought I was nuts. So what are you guys gonna do with it? Oh man, we are entering the 24 hours of lemons. And when when is that? I think our race is sometime in April. Yeah. Track in Oklahoma. And you guys are just friends. Yeah, we're Co-workers. friends, yeah. Friends, and you just wanna, you, you guys decide to do that, if I'm available, I'll show up just to watch it. That'll be something, that's <laughs> a hell of a cool. So are you gonna strip the car? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And just keep the engine and transmission and all? Yeah, I'm planning to take, a, you know, all the smog junk off and yeah. whatever. Oh yeah, it's yeah. already stripped down. Yeah. I honestly didn't think you guys were gonna show up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they, he contacted me, he's like, would you take this much money? I'm like, yeah, sure. And he said, I live in Oklahoma, I didn't think he's gonna show up in six hours, how, how long? Six and a half hours. Six and a half hours later, they just showed up and, and you guys need anything else? I got a lot of evil parts. <laughs> Engine, <laughs> transmission, the car, the car we probably had to rebuild, just because from sitting. Timing belt, water pump, just something I would do. I don't know the condition of a clutch. I just drove that thing 10 miles, that's it. I bought it and I parked it, it was parked for like five months. And then finally I started it up the other day and brought it here. And that, that's all I know. Uh, it doesn't leak any oil, I know that. I can't, I can't guarantee you. I mean, it's used, it's been sitting for years, but it, it starts and runs. So, yeah, I thought I was nuts, but I guess they're gonna do the 24 hour lemons. I, I would love to come and watch you guys. We'd love to have you. Yes, yeah. I'll definitely show up. And now uh, let's load this thing up and send it back home. Make you guys work. I give you a discount, so might as well. 
Don't hit anything. <laughs> Push it, push it. There you go. Yeah, that jack has seen so many uh, different. I had it for like 15 years, and my buddies borrowed it. And every time he shows up back, it's missing pieces. <laughs> Don't ever borrow your tools to anybody. <laughs> You got it? Keep pumping, man. You almost got it. Yeah. Just, uh, you're like halfway there. Oh, you got this. <laughs> I'm definitely coming to visit you guys. Maybe do lemons together. Oh, look, look, look how rusty this oil filter is. <laughs> I drained all the uh, oil is drained out of it. Just. It's got a brand new fuel pump. Two hours later. I took apart the cooling system on the old one. Uh huh. <clears throat> the entire tube here on the back is just rusted through. Oh yeah. Hey, uh, check this out. So I noticed that yesterday. I think at some point had a small pinhole, and somebody just screwed a little bolt <laughs> with a rubber washer. I found that well yesterday. So like I don't want you to go home and yell at me. Hey man, what's up with this? <laughs> so the funniest thing just happened. <laughs> this never happened before so these guys that picked up my motor um great couple guys they uh bought this motor they're gonna they want to do 24 hours of lemons in a yugo so they picked this engine up and we sat at my place for about an hour had a drink you know chilled and just talked about cars and stuff and um i actually think it's pretty cool idea I always wanted to do it and um, I told him I'll come and watch and maybe even join them you know uh, so they left 20 I don't know 15 minutes 20 minutes later they sent me a message hey man we're coming back we had to turn around I'm like oh my god what happened um, they forgot to pay me and um, <laughs> this never happened to me before that I actually forgot to ask for money and they forgot to give it to me so they're a bunch of great guys they just decide to turn back 20 minutes back so they can pay me for the motor and transmission <laughs> so it's just funny how you can just go start talking about cars that you forget about money you know but i just wanted to uh <laughs> share this never happened to me it just did so i gotta go meet them again and get my money and so they can go back 450 miles where they came from Oklahoma. <laughs>